Club is a new night spot opened in Minneapolis last Monday night by Prince. His new hometown hangout takes its name from the club in his new movie, Graffiti Bridge, which is due out next month. And while Prince himself didn't deign to attend the opening night festivities, several of his more noted musical colleagues did, and so did we. Back in 1984, Prince brought the Minneapolis club scene into the limelight by shooting much of his movie Purple Rain at his favorite hangout, a club called First Avenue. Now Prince has a new movie coming up and a new club to go along with it. The concept for this club came up in December 1989, actually sometime in the fall of 1989, um, having a conversation with Prince about something to do and I said let's do a nightclub. So we went for it. Glam Slam is situated in an old textile warehouse, and its look merges the industrial with a rather princely elegance. See, lots of money flying out of Prince's pocket. No, I'm kidding. I, I think it's beautiful. It's the kind of club that, that sounds like the, one of the songs on my album. It's, Ooh, this I need. It's a, <laughs> it's a need kind of a club. You know, you need to come here. You need to see the art. The, the decoration is great. Nice club. The interior of the club is unique. The members' only second floor is bedecked with cutting-edge painting and sculpture by local artists, which can be purchased for $750 on up. And a boutique sells a high-priced line of princely couture created by Prince's own designers. Well, the fashions in the shop are, a lot of them here, are based on what we did in Graffiti Bridge. And now we're kind of expanding it by bringing it out more to the public. To go with its unique sights, Glam Slam has some pretty special sounds, too. Music that no other club can play. We have exclusive rights in support of Prince and Paisley Park, uh, exclusive rights to uh, much of Prince's unreleased material, Paisley Park artists. Uh, this is basically an extension of Paisley Park. Prince also wants Glam Slam to keep the Minneapolis music scene, not just its club scene, growing. I was talking to Prince uh, a month ago, and he told me why he wanted a club like this. And basically what he wants is to bring back live entertainment. We're hoping that through this club, we will make young kids want to pick up an instrument and learn the art of music again. And finally, Glam Slam is also intended as a no-hassles hangout for the Twin Cities established music stars, who say they plan to use it. We may get the time together and, you know, come down here and play a few gigs and stuff, so I'm looking forward to it from a musician standpoint, just to come down and hang out.